Hello and welcome back to Loris Places and People. In today's video, we will examine the major positive aspects of Japan's economy. Today, Japan has a population of 125,500,000 people. The capital of Japan is Tokyo and is the major economic hub of the country. Tokyo has a population of 15 million people. Other major cities include Yokohama, Osaka, Nagoya, Kobe, and Fukuoka. Today, Japan's economy is the fourth largest economy in the world with a nominal gross domestic product of US$4,400,000,000 and a per capita gross domestic product of $50,000. The size of the economy of Japan only comes after that of the United States of America, China, and Germany. Despite reports of stagnation over the last 15 years, the economy of Japan is still a stabilizing factor in global trade especially since it is an important export destination for American, Chinese, European, and African goods. The Japanese agricultural sector accounts for 1.5% of the total country's GDP, however only 12% of Japan's land is suitable for farming. Intensive agriculture is practiced through terracing farmlands, especially in mountainous areas where many farmers have small plots. From this intensive way of farming Japan has the world's highest levels of crop yields per unit area, with an overall agricultural self-sufficiency rate of about 50% on 14 million acres cultivated. Rice is the most common crop farmed and it accounts for almost all of Japan's cereal production. Large quantities of other cereals like wheat, barley, corn, and soybeans are ported from China, Australia, the US, and Brazil. Forestry is another major sector of the economy. Two-thirds of Japan is covered with forests. Half of all forests in Japan are planted forests of cedar and cypress which were planted after the Pacific War, in an attempt to produce construction material. However, with the economic boom starting in the 1950s, most Japanese switched from building with wood to reinforced concrete. Today many of the Japanese forests are overgrown and need thinning. Forestry still remains of absolute importance for construction, paper, crafts, household tools, and furniture manufacturers. Within agriculture the sub-sector of fishing is a very important mainstay in the Japanese economy and culture. The Japanese fishing industry, both domestic and overseas, has long been centered on the Tsukiji fish market, in Tokyo, which is one of the world's largest wholesale markets for fresh, frozen, and processed seafood. In the last three years, Japan's total fish output was between 4 million metric tons and 5 million tons. Among the many seafood species caught are sardines, salmon, skipjack tuna, crab, sea bream, sauris, tuna, shrimp, pollock, squid, clams, mackerel, and Japanese amberjack. Freshwater fishing, including salmon, trout, and eel hatcheries and fish farms, takes up 30% of Japan's fishing industry. There are more than 250 fish species in the rivers of Japan, including native varieties of catfish, chub, herring, and gobi, as well as such freshwater crustaceans as crabs and crayfish. Marine and freshwater aquaculture is conducted in all 47 prefectures in Japan. Japan maintains one of the world's largest fishing fleets and accounts for nearly 15% of the global catch, prompting some claims that Japan's fishing is leading to depletion in fish stocks such as tuna. Japan has also sparked controversy by supporting quasi-commercial whaling. Japan also has greatly advanced the techniques of aquaculture or sea farming. In this system, artificial insemination and hatching techniques are used to breed fish and shellfish, which are then released into rivers or seas. These fish and shellfish are caught after they grow bigger. Salmon is raised this way. Of Japan's 2000 fishing ports, the most famous ones include Nagasaki, in southwest Kyushu, Kushiro, and Abashiri in Hokkaido. Major fishing ports on the Pacific coast of Honshu include Hachinohe, Kesanuma, and Ashinomaki along the Sanriku coast, as well as Choshi, Yezu, and Misaki to the east and south of Tokyo. Two of the largest fishing companies in Japan are Nippon Susan Kaisha and Maruha Nichiro. Each employs more than 8,000 people and owns subsidiaries around the world. The manufacturing sector in Japan is world famous producing some of the most technologically advanced goods. Japan is the world's third largest producer of manufactured goods. Manufacturing and industry account for 28% of Japan's gross domestic product. Major industrial hubs in Japan include the Kansai region around Osaka, the Takai region around Nagoya, and the Kanto region around Tokyo. 
The goods produced include consumer electronics like televisions, sound systems, video game sets, automobile manufacturing, machine tools, semiconductor manufacturing, optical fibers, optoelectronics, optical media, facsimile, and copy machines, processed foods, beer, textiles, shipbuilding, and pharmaceuticals. Japan's world-famous automobile industry is the third largest in the world by output, and but has the largest car manufacturer in the world, Toyota. Other famous automobile brands in Japan include Lexus, Honda, Nissan, Mitsubishi, Subaru, Mazda, Acura, Suzuki, and Isuzu. The other world-famous Japanese technology and consumer electronics brands are Sony, Sharp, Panasonic, TDK, Yamaha, Fujitsu, Toshiba, Canon, Kyocera, Ricoh, Konica Minolta, Pioneer, Hitachi. The service sector in Japan includes banking, insurance, telecommunications, real estate, transportation, tourism, hospitality, education. 70% of Japan's gross domestic product comes from the services sector. Finance, banking and trade, insurance, and transportation are the most significant contributors to the services sector with famous companies like Mitsubishi UFJ, Mizuho, NTT, Tepco, Nomura, Mitsubishi Estate, E.ON, Mitsui Sumitomo, SoftBank, JR East, 7&I, KDDI and Japan Airlines. In finance and trade, the Tokyo Stock Exchange is most significant on the Asian continent because it's the third largest in the world by market capitalization. The two major indexes are the Nikkei 225 and the Topix both on the Tokyo Stock Exchange. The Tokyo and Osaka Stock Exchanges merged in January 2013 to create one of the largest stock exchanges in the world. Other major stock exchanges in Japan are the Sapporo Securities Exchange, the Fukuoka Stock Exchange, and the Nagoya Stock Exchange. Japan has a growing tourism sector and has attracted more than 15 million visitors for each of the last three years. The major attractions include the cities of Tokyo, Osaka, Kobe, Kyoto, and the Himeji Castle. For winter sports enthusiasts, Hikaido is a top destination because it has several ski resorts. So if Japan is very productive, where do the Japanese sell all their products and services? In 2023, Japan exported goods with $910 billion, and the major export destinations for Japan's products were 1. China with a share of 19% of goods and services produced worth $144 billion. USA with a share of 18.5% of goods and services worth $139 billion. 3. South Korea bought goods and services worth $54 billion and other Asian countries like Vietnam, Singapore, Hong Kong, Thailand, Indonesia, and Malaysia altogether, bought $160 billion worth of Japanese goods representing 32% of total goods and services traded in that year. The major goods exported from Japan in 2022 included $142 billion in nuclear reactors, boilers, machinery, and mechanical appliances. 137 billion in vehicles, vehicle parts and accessories. 113 billion dollars in electrical machinery and equipment and parts thereof. Sound recorders and television image and sound recorders and reproducers, and parts and accessories. 39 billion dollars in optical, photographic, cinematographic, measuring, checking, precision, medical or surgical instruments and parts and accessories. 34 billion dollars in iron and steel and 26 billion dollars in plastics. On the import side, Japan imported $898 billion worth of goods and services in 2022 from the following countries. From China, $190 billion worth of goods, from the United States, $91 billion worth of goods, from Australia, $88 billion, from the United Arab Emirates, $45 billion, from Saudi Arabia, $42 billion and from all the other Asian countries like South Korea, Thailand, Indonesia, Vietnam, a total of $132 billion. The types of goods imported by Japan in 2022 were $254 billion of mineral fuels, mineral oils, and products of the distillation, bituminous substances, mineral waxes $120 billion of electrical machinery and equipment and parts thereof, sound recorders and reproducers, television image and sound recorders and reproducers, and parts and accessories of such articles. 3. $71 billion of nuclear reactors, boilers, machinery, and mechanical appliances parts thereof. 4. $31 billion of ores, slag, and ash. 5. $22 billion of vehicles other than railway or tramway rolling stock, and parts and accessories thereof.
In 2022, the four largest companies in Japan by revenue were Toyota Motor Corporation with revenues of $280 billion, Mitsubishi Group with revenues of $153 billion, Honda Motor Company Limited with revenues of $129 billion, Itochu Corporation had revenue of $109 billion, Nippon Telegraph and Telephone Corporation had revenue of $108 billion. In this final part of our video let's look at four types of investment opportunities in Japan that have the potential to make a lot of money. The first is web-based payment systems. Japan is one of the most technologically advanced country on the planet and has over 50% of its population already using online connectivity for daily transactions. Therefore web-based payment systems are a prime investment in Japan. Second are human resources management systems. It is no secret that Japan has a strong working culture and this can be enhanced by modern human resources management systems which can work to modernize the office culture and promote efficiency and effectiveness in an economy that has seen productivity drop over the last two decades. The third area is crowdfunding management systems. Japan is a lucrative market for crowdfunding investments especially among the millennials who might not easily access huge funds from the banks. With crowdfunding management systems the ideas can be funded from across the globe with easy tracking and supervision. Fish farming is very lucrative in Japan because seafood is a staple of Japanese cuisine. Japan has a large population which lives mostly along the coastal areas and this makes seafood a primary source of food. Internationally the seafood from Japan is renowned for its high quality too. That's it for today, thank you for watching and for those who haven't yet, please subscribe to Loris Places and People.